Okay, we're going to start this video off on my Facebook page. This is me asking a friend of Keegan Klein's girlfriend, and please forgive the spelling. If any of you don't know, I am missing over 40% of my use of my right hand, and it's mainly because I ran a close bite. I'd give you two thumbs up, but I can't. So keep that in mind when it comes to my spelling. But I asked her if she can confirm another time that what she said is correct. Yep, that is a Brie. Yes, yeah, so I can also get that where you can see it. Easily, I can tell it's her. I mean, I went to school, uh, to church when we were younger, you know, and she also went, said she went to school with her. I definitely know the face, even without the pixels. With or without the pixels. Who we're talking about is a Rihanna Walter. And here's where it gets interesting. We're going to go to Keegan Klein's page now. We're going to go down to January 20th, 2007, uh, 2018, I believe. But this is Keegan Klein, as you can see. I'm going to keep going down. Give me a second. And what we are going to be looking at is in a rela relationship. And with who? We wonder. This is another issue. I'm going to bring up this name later. Armon AB. There's a few people I've let on my friends list, and I thought it'd be good a good idea. But at the same time, I'm starting to regret it now because the stalkers they just keep coming. Come on. Any minute now. Okay, we're going to go to June 8th, 2019. You can see what her friend calls her a Brie. It's right here in the pixels. That is Keegan Klein's girlfriend, Miss Walter. How I know this is uh, they were actually a long time, her and her family were long time, uh, Neighbors of mine, I called them neighbors from hell, and rightfully so, when uh, Jessica's son would come over, they would be fighting, cops called, people fighting out on the sidewalk, you get the idea, it got bad at times. And yeah, let's see if I can make this go just a little bit faster. And we're going to go to, on the post I just showed you, in a relationship, you're going to see a few people. Uh, that's the post you just seen above, and that's the likes and the emotes to it. Misty, Mentor, Conklin, I think that's how you spell it, and Jessica Kennel, which is Mrs. Balter, uh, Miss Balter's mother. And she and her boyfriend at the time, Stephen Oaks, were living next door with the kids. And I know for at least three years, I watched Keegan Klein, my own two eyes, multiple times go over to that apartment, not apartment, but a uh, house they were renting, and I know it was before she was 18. Not no, I... Guarantee I can put my life on it. He was messing around with her when she was 18. I've seen them coming and going, how they were acting. You get the idea. And if I can get this thing to agree with me, we're going to keep going down. And you can go on and find the same things I'm showing you now on 
Facebook yourself on Keegan Klein's page. Next one we're going to be looking at is January, uh, January 1st, 2019. In a domestic relationship. We're going to be looking at these again. Second, my computer's being a pain. Come on. And this is what I was saying we're about to look at the emotes again. And in the domestic relationship, you're going to see his girlfriend right down here. Liked it yet again. Wait, she loved it because it's her. Give me two seconds. Waiting for my computer to agree with me and go down. Come on. Not sure. I think that's everything on that one that I was wanting to show. And we're going to go back now. I'm on an alternate account, and I'm actually looking at my page right here on Facebook. And we're going to go down. And this is uh, the uh, retracted parts of the next 24 images are going to be of the Keegan Klein transcripts. Which I'm for, sh for sure most of you know by now what these trans transcripts are. And I'm about to show you what the transcripts uh, transcripts actually edited and omitted and blocked out and that's easily done when my computer agrees with me and here we go yes god forbid I smoke and it's the bad habit I got but when I got death threats coming at me uh it's not too fun. I don't know why, but we're not able to really see these the way I wanted to. He actually puts right here. Okay, looks better than it is in person. I don't have my glasses on. But, uh, you know where you're exactly living now? Like, where's your, um, place at? Uh, and he says with Miss Balter. So that's your girlfriend. He pretty much admits to it. Uh, so, as you see, so it's 2017, moved to Las Vegas. And when he got back with her, that's actually on page 12 if you look. I'm trying to zoom past these real quick. Because most of you have seen these, but I'm going to show you which ones to look at. On when it comes to... His transcripts. Some of these got the number at the bottom, some don't, but... If need be, I can actually supply the transcript numbers I've actually taken down and the ones I actually got this from. See, like page 30. And in these transcripts, you're actually going to be hearing where he admits that his girlfriend at the time, Miss Walter, knows he has some issues 
what those issues are, and you get the idea. Page 34 is another one I picked up. Met in May 18, which is a lie. Which be May 19. And as you've seen on those, it's a lie, but he actually was with Miss Walter. And if you look up on these, you can see he went to school with her brother. And that is a fact. He did go to Kokomo and went to school with Miss Walter's brother. Some of these I just pulled up, and it's on where he lives, what he's doing. Miss Walter on page 37, he says, pays for everything. This just I'm blasting through these a little bit. It's the ones I pulled off on like page sixty. And you see kind of what I'm getting at. And why I kind of picked these off. What's your girlfriend's name? Answer. Retracted. I actually put that in there for you guys, along with dates, to show you. I'm not just saying this. I'm actually proving this, and all I'm proving it was, thanks to Jessica Kennel, I had the great opportunity to meet Mr. Klein, or Little Boy Klein is what I call him, because no man would do that to a child. And right now we're going to go into the start of Karina's case. And Karina McClurkin is this one right here. And this is one of my favorite pictures. I'm going to try pulling that up for you guys. This is not I helped her. This is a reflection that would have been in my eye. So what you're seeing here is pretty much, if you were looking at me, this is what you'd be looking at when I was stopping and helping her. And this picture is one of the pictures you're going to see a lot of. And it's one her actual grandmother made that I actually kind of stole from her. Sorry for this look, I'm about to put that out. And, got a go up here and kind of backtrack out of this and we're gonna go back to my page and this is my page so anybody looking for me this is how you find me and it's on, I'll bring it up here in a second where you can see it. I'm going to probably keep this one about 15 minutes, but the next video we're going to do is actually the first person that Karina's grandmother and mother called to come pick Karina up. And the reason I'm starting at Karina is these names are not going to make any sense to you when it comes to in and around this drug ring unless I go back to when I was dragged into this mess. It was back October 10th going into October 11th that night, 2016. And the reason I'm going back to Karina is this is where I got dragged into this. Not just as a regular individual going home. I was actually a long time for years. I can go back, count the years, and actually show you the years when it comes to uh, how long I was an informant with the FBI. 
and with stopping to help her, it actually turned me not just in from a uh, informant. I actually turned into a federal witness that night. And that's one thing I say. We are hunting evil. You prey on my people. It's time to use for us to start hunting you. The evil that preys on my people. There is no greater love than this. That a person lay down his life for the sake of his friends and others. You want a war? Well, you got one tonight. And that's what we're going to start doing is slowly going down people that were involved in Karina's. We're going to bring this all the way up to current issues like I just showed you with Delphi and Keegan Klein and his girlfriend. But stick with me. The next video I'm going to make about 15-20 minutes long. I'm going to try to keep these short. But the next one we're going to be going and diving and looking into Shannon Jackson Young. And she's got multiple pages.